Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is lecture number nine. The name of the paper is Introduction to Linguistics. The name of the chapter is Phonology, and the name of the topic is Minimal Pairs and Minimal Sets. This lecture is for the students of B.A. Second Semester GDC Pabi, and also for the students of those colleges which are affiliated with. Abdul Wali Khan University. Now coming to the topic of minimal pairs, it's a very short lecture, just uh, two short paragraphs, uh, 13 lines, and you can find this uh, these paragraphs in your book on page number 44. You can see it here. The topic is minimal pairs and minimal sets. Before uh, talking about minimal pairs and minimal sets, in the previous lecture we discussed allophonic variations, if you remember, and phonemic variations. <coughs> and we said that uh, these are three allophones, they are phones, but as these phones belong to the same phoneme, Therefore, they are referred to as allophones. This phone is found in the word tar. This is found in rider. And this is found in eighth. These are three allophones. If we change these allophones and mispronounce a word, for example, if tar is pronounced as tar, the meaning does not change. So therefore, the allophonic variation or allophonic distinction in English does not change the meaning of a word. When it starts changing the meaning of a word, we call it phonemic variation or phonemic distinction. And for the phonemic distinction, we did the example <coughs> of French language and we said that these two words this one is pronounced as so this one is pronounced with nasalized sound as song and when we say so the meaning of the word in french is pale when we say song the meaning changes to sound it is therefore meaning changing and we have already done it in, in, in uh, phonemes description that phonemes are meaning changing. Therefore, this distinction is a phonemic distinction. Phonemic distinction means the difference of the phoneme. Having learnt this idea, now we come to minimal pairs and minimal sets. This idea is quite easy to understand. If you know the meaning of minimum you know the meaning of maximum and minimum pair means a combination of two in general language <coughs> and you also know the meaning of sets when many items get together they make a set this is the general meaning now coming to the uh, minimal pairs meaning with respect to phonology for example, let us take these two words, pat, the other is bat. These are two words, so we can say it's a pair. Now, in these two words, in the first one, pat, you have three phonemes, p, a, and t. In the next one, bat, again you have three phonemes, b, a, and t these uh, are similar except this one sound pa in pat and ba in bat otherwise a and t sounds are the same so we said that these two words are the same except one phoneme pa and ba so it's a pair i said and in this pair uh, 
all the phonemes are the same except one phoneme and then let's look at the position of this one phoneme which is different pa is it at the beginning or the end yes it is at the beginning and ba in bat again is at the beginning so this difference of pa and ba is in the same position i repeat these are two words so they can be referred to as pair and in these two words uh, only one phoneme is different the rest of the phonemes are the same and the position of this one phoneme is also the same initial in pat initial in bat as well when such a thing occurs when this criteria is fulfilled that there are two words and in both the words only one phoneme differs we say there is contrast in one phoneme and this one phoneme is contrasted in the same position these phonemes which are different occur in the same position either the initial or the final or the middle the other examples will come then we say that this is a minimal pair in phonology so i hope you understood the idea of minimal pair when there are two words and these two words are similar except only one phoneme and this one phoneme occurs in the same position that is either initial or final or middle then we say these two words are minimal pairs in english minimal pairs in english because such a distinction of pa and ba does not uh, have any value in arabic we do not find the distinction of pa and ba in arabic in arabic you have ba sound for example you have basir you have bashir but pa sound is not there so instead of saying pakistan in arabic put arab would say pakistan so there is no pa and ba distinction in arabic phonology we say that these two are minimal pairs in english phonology not in other uh, languages phonologies uh there are other pairs for example you have fain and when once again the initial f and v sounds which are phonemes are uh, uh, different there is this distinction phonemic distinction and uh, in both the cases it is initial then you have bat and bat in this case the difference is in vowel phoneme uh, a and a and it is in the middle in bat it is in the middle and in bat it is in the middle so again the criteria is fulfilled in both these words the phoneme which is different occupies or occurs in the same position therefore these are minimal pairs site and side is also a minimal pair because in this case the uh, t and the d phoneme which is the last phoneme differs so the position is uh, again the same and we can call them minimal pairs um in these cases the contrast in meaning is based on the minimal sound contrast this is the minimal sound contrast therefore it is called a minimal pair um as we have defined phoneme as the minimal unit of sound this is the minimal unit of sound in case of pa in case of ba which is different and therefore it is referred to as minimal pair the contrast is based on minimal sound contrast so i hope you got the idea of minimal pair now we come to minimal sets as you know set means uh, a group of uh, different things many things but here it refers to the group of different pairs 
so the idea is that if there is a group of words five six seven words and all those words fulfill this criteria that uh, there is only one vowel um, or consonant change we say phonemic distinction only one phoneme is different in all of them and this one phoneme occupies the same position then all those words will be referred to as minimal set they would not be referred to as minimal pair because they are not two you can see it these are uh, one two three four five six words and in all these words the position of the phoneme which is different in this case feet e is different from fit e fat a fit e fort o and fort o this is the medial position and on all these words all, all the other things are the same except this vowel phoneme which is different and they are not two so we do not call them pairs we call they are many so we'll call them sets and as there is a minimal sound difference here we'll call them minimal sets there is so it is based on uh, vowels this uh, set is based on consonants for example you have big pig rig fig dig and wake in all these cases it is the initial phoneme b p r f d and v sound which is different therefore uh, this uh, is also the example of a minimal set so two things were discussed minimal pair and a minimal set minimal because uh, the difference in meaning is based on minimal sound the minimal unit of sound contrastive unit of sound is called as phoneme तो ये आपने इंग्लिश में सुना इसको आप उर्दू में भी सुन लें मिनिमल पेयर्स एंड मिनिमल सेट्स आसान कॉन्सेप्ट है तेरह लाइन का एक टॉपिक है और इसके समझने में मुश्किल नहीं होनी चाहिए मिनिमल कहते हैं कम तरीन को पेयर कहते हैं जोड़े को तो फनोलॉजी इंग्लिश फनोलॉजी में मिनिमल पेयर इसको कहते हैं के दो अल्फाज हों तो ये तो हो गया पैर इसमें मिनिमल की क्या बात है मिनिमल की बात ये है कि इसमें फ ए ठ तीन फनीम्स हैं और इसमें भी ब ए ठ बैट तीन फनीम्स हैं दो फनीम्स तो एक तरह है सिर्फ एक फनीम डिफरेंट है प और ब का और इस वजह से मीनिंग डिफरेंट है और इनकी पोजिशन भी शुरू में है एक पोजिशन में है और सिर्फ एक फनीम का फ़र्क है बाकी कोई फ़र्क नहीं है इस तरह के अल्फाज को कहते हैं मिनिमल पेयर्स मिनिमल की वजह भी आपको बता दी है <coughs> और ये मिनिमल पेयर्स के लाएंगे इंग्लिश फनोलॉजी में क्योंकि ये अरेबिक में नहीं होता अरेबिक में प प नहीं है उसमें ब मौजूद है तो ये डिफरेंस उधर नहीं है ये भी मिनिमल पेयर्स हैं फैन वैन क्योंकि इसमें मिडल का साउंड शुरू का साउंड डिफरेंट है बैट बैट इसमें मिडल का साउंड डिफरेंट है साइड साइड इसमें आखिरी जो फनीम है वो डिफरेंट है तो ये मिनिमल पेयर है इसके बाद हम मिनिमल सेट का जिक्र करते हैं हमने किया और इसमें ये पढ़ा कि ये ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स होता है ये एक ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स है और ये ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स इन सारों में एक ही पोजीशन में एक फनीम डिफरेंट है और वो वावल फनीम है यहाँ पे ई है यहाँ पे ए है यहाँ पे ए है यहाँ पे ए है यहाँ पे ओ है यहाँ पे ओ है तो ये डिफरेंट है और ये दो नहीं है तो ये पेर नहीं है ये पूरा ग्रुप है और सेट है तो हम इसको कहेंगे मिनिमल सेट क्राइटेरिया वही है के बाकी के अल्फाज एक तरह के हों साउंड्स सिर्फ एक साउंड एक फनीम वो डिफरेंट हो इसमें वावल फनीम डिफरेंट है और इसमें कॉन्सनेंट 
for name different hai oh hope you understood the topic thank you and good luck